What is up everybody? So I recently got to see the new Tom Cruise movie, Edge of Tomorrow. It stars Tom Cruise, Emily Blunt, and Bill Paxton. Basically what happens is Tom Cruise basically is an officer in the military. He eventually gets shot and then you go back in time and eventually are thrust into a situation where he's kind of pulled into a war scenario. Um, he's going to be fighting an advanced alien race that has just recently invaded. They've taken over most of France and Germany and the next invasion will be pretty darn soon. Um, Tom Cruise is really the person that doesn't want to be in this type of situation. You see him kind of forced into this situation even though nobody will believe his story or wants to believe in the story. He is one of the people that are kind of like the fish out of water characters that you see in most Hollywood movies in the past and this movie definitely delivers on everything that it promises in the trailer. It is one of the most awesome movies I have probably seen in a very long time and especially a science fiction movie that I have seen in a long time. The battle scenes in this movie are just amazing. Emily Blunt is this hard ass battle hardened warrior and in the past she had the same ability that Tom Cruise later gains after fighting in the D-Day invasion. What happens is that he is able to acquire this ability. I'm not going to spoil how he's able to acquire that because I do want you guys to go and see this movie in the theaters and kind of experience this for yourself but he's then able to after every time he dies go back to a day before the invasion happens and be able to relive some of the memories that he has and you later find out that they're going to target one of the major characters in this movie which is the Omega. It is an alien that is kind of like the queen in Aliens where it is the leader of the kind of ant hive mentality of the alien race. The alphas are the ones that are able to give people the ability to travel back in time and it's really kind of confusing how this kind of gets interwoven in between the characters but it is explained in the movie and I definitely do want you guys to experience this for yourself so I will not spoil anything else for this. I hope I haven't spoiled anything like in this review so far but you should definitely check this out. I was kind of leery on whether I wanted to stay up till 12 o'clock to go see this movie in theaters but now I'm definitely glad that I did and got to experience this movie before everybody else did and probably gonna end up going to see it again soon and probably another time soon after but either way each and every actor did an amazing job Bill Paxton's even in this he plays the general at one point in time and you get to see him throughout most of this movie some of the death scenes that happen in this movie are incredibly hilarious they kind of play on the part that Tom Cruise doesn't really want to be there and he kind of experiences this and as every experience happens he kind of memorizes what some of the people say and at times kind of points it out trying to get these people to believe what he's telling them and it doesn't really work but they kind of play in the comedy aspect of it which I did really enjoy a lot I felt like this movie had a lot of humor in it kind of had a little bit of a romance situation which you don't really find out till a little bit later I'm not going to spoil how that happens but definitely check this out this is something that is definitely worth paying the $7.25 or the $10 for to go see it in theaters I would highly recommend and if you can go see it at matinee price for like five bucks and definitely check it out then as well um go see this movie help support it because it's definitely deserving of the support I would say that this is probably one of the best movies that I've seen in a very very long time so I give two thumbs up to the cast and crew especially Tom Cruise Emily Blunt and Bill Baxton all of whom did an amazing job and also to Doug Lyman who before this did Jumper in that movie didn't do so well. I did enjoy it a little bit just because of the action sequences and stuff like that but it really did stray far from the book and that's kind of one of the reasons why I did not like Doug Lyman's ju Jumper. I know he's done movies in the past like the Bourne movies and even Mr. and Mrs. Smith but this is ten times better than anything that he's done in a very long time and I am definitely hoping that they do a sequel to this movie because the ending of this movie really does leave open for a couple more movies even maybe a quadrilogy if they end up doing that but definitely check this out I hope I haven't really spoiled anything for this but in any case until next time guys see you later